Welcome, Leo Virgo, to your November numerology reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Leo Virgo. we have is first card coming out is self-love number 61 equaling seven and surrender nine plus one is ten equaling one and communication having a 33 master number 33 going on over here um, three plus three is six okay so Okay, friends, going straight over here to the self-love, getting to that seven, which is going to be that inspiration, that higher self, understanding of self-love. Um, yeah, how beautiful is that? Um, the self-love card is talking about the focus, your attention on loving and believing in yourself. You are being encouraged to make your relationship with yourself your number one priority as this is the key to happiness and the manifestation of your dreams. Rather than dwell upon your shortcomings, you must accept and embrace who you are. Now is the time to start treating yourself like a friend by replacing your negative self-talk with positive affirmations. Statements that affirm that you are lovable, worthy, and perfect just as you are help you raise your energy vibration and improve your life circumstances. Set a time set aside excuse me some time to write down all the things you admire about yourself such as your sense of humor your smile or your capacity to love every little thing counts and nothing is insignificant or minor okay so those are things that will help you get through this okay so if you have any self-doubts about yourself write down a bunch of things that show how worthy you are and the things that you know is true about yourself whether it's how pretty your eyes are, how gorgeous your hair is. It doesn't matter. There's nothing, like it says, that's insignificant to this. Okay, just starting with the little things. Okay. Okay, so. Clarifying on the self-love. Tarot card. Spirit, tell us. What is it? All... Oh, Self-reflection, and that's exactly what it is, going in for self-reflection. And that's that going in, telling yourself how beautiful your smile is, how worthy you are, how creative you are, the things that are wonderful about yourself. And this is going to give you options and opportunities to have a death card. How beautiful is that? Reminding yourself um, of who you are. And it's also going to give you this beautiful transition and butterfly effect within yourself, reaching high, higher levels. And remember, and I love this card too, because this was also, remember this card was talking about writing down the things, right? How beautiful your hair is, how beautiful you know, your smile is, you know, how you help others. So all of these cups are filled with beautiful things that you are, um, okay? So how beautiful is that? And it's true, right? It's true. We are all made in perfection of the way God wanted us made. So, surrendering. Now you're going to surrender. You're going to surrender yourself to this. I already feel it. And this is the communication. Wow. Okay, so. Surrendering with the three of wands. Looking for your ships to come in and getting out of the nine of swords. Don't allow yourself to sit over here um, and, you know, and have the insomnia of I'm not good enough, I'm not this, I'm not that. Why do I feel like this is love? That somebody has hurt you in love and has told you some horrible things. Um, or your relationships do not work. Or your job is not working. Something is going on. But I really feel this is relationship and somebody has hurt your heart. Looking for your ships to come in. Remember, you are beautiful. You have hopes and promises. And keep the manif uh, manifesting alive. Um, 
be starry-eyed about yourself. This is going to give you the healing that you need. Okay, you are beautiful. You are a star in the sky. No different. Okay, so surrendering. Okay, this is going to give you a new beginning with the 9 plus 1 equals 10 equaling 1. That new beginning within yourself. So this card indicates a time to surrender your attachment to a particular situation or preferred outcome. Because your inability to let go is impeding your success. And that's why you need the options, right? Going to give you new options and opportunities. Desperation blocks manifestation. Therefore, the more you struggle to attract your desire, the more you push it away. By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to detach from the situation and surrender the outcome to the divine. Detaching yourself from this and realizing this is what's keeping you down is the Nine of Swords. In order to attract what you want, you must give the universe space to deliver your request. This can only be achieved by getting out of the, the way so that everything can unfold as it should. It isn't your job to make it happen. It is simply your job to allow it to happen. When you surrender the outcome to the divine, you let the magic flow. So once you get out of the Nine of Swords and you keep telling yourself these wonderful things with self-love, you are allowing the universe wishing upon a star, healing, to move forward with the chariot. And this is how your ships will come in. You're allowing the ships to come in. You're allowing new space for a strategy, delegation, um, things to come in by pushing other things out that are no longer there. Surrender to yourself. Okay. Communication. So you have 33 over here, that's a master number, and master numbers are talking about mastering yourself, knowing who you are through a master number, and then having six for the harmony. This will, this is actually going to bring you harmony. Okay, so 33 is the communication in the alteration, meaning the number three is also three, which is six is harmony, three is harmony. So however you want to see it, you are looking for that harmony within yourself, okay? 33 is the cosmic parent, okay? Remember that listening for the cosmic parent, you mastering the cosmic cosmic parent within yourself. Man, that one's a hard one to come out. Okay, this card is indicating a need to communicate with your thoughts and feelings and have the courage to speak your truth. And I'm really feeling it's speaking your truth to yourself since we have the self-love over here. And if it's not just to yourself, it's to yourself and everyone around you. Not allowing other people to get um, you down. Not allowing people to put fear or judgment into your life. Not to ridicule you or cause conflict around you. Okay. And you can express your honest opinion. And we have opinion over here as well. Remember, the Seven of Cups is really a very major important piece to this whole reading because it's giving the options, the opinions, the opportunities. Okay, so this huge, huge. So by doing so, you are releasing that energy from your being and promoting a healthy body and mind. And you're releasing that, not allowing those people to do that. This card indicates that you have something important to say. You are being encouraged to communicate or express your yourself through writing, speaking, singing, dancing, acting, music, art, however it is. However it is, just remember this raises your vibrations, communication, and expressing your truth. When you're honest and respectful and seek to serve the, great, the greater good, your message will be received the best possible light. Honest communication is the key to a healthy soul and heart and body and mind and life, guys. 100 right? 100%. So having this communication, giving back to yourself, six of pinnacles, putting yourself, limelight yourself, Leo, Virgo, be the limelighter that you are. Put yourself up on the pedestal, communicate with yourself, tell yourself who you are and let others see you in the light that you want to have them see you in. If they don't like what they see, then tell them to stop looking, right? Plain and simple. 
because this is going to bring the self-growth, the Ace of Swords. You know who you are. You're going to have the clarity and the realizations of the truth. And this card, remember, was speaking your truth, speaking your truth of the growth. You are no longer going to allow yourself to be this withered, gross, you know, looking uh, leaf over here. You are now going to be this beautiful plant who is growing berries, putting yourself in the spotlight, being the center of your own universe, of yourself, not allowing people to weigh you down. If you can give to yourself that others also can see you and perceive you and look at you in a different light as well. Yes, Ten of Cups, this is going to bring the happiness and the achievements that you want. Also bringing out that rainbow within yourself. Um, bringing in what you consider the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow um, within self. Yeah, and bringing in more prosperities. Wow, with the Ace of Pentacles. So the overall outcome. Yes, and give yourself the communication of the promises, the hopes, and the dreams of yourself. Not allowing other people to tell you who you are or what you are not. Um, it is not their job. Okay, so the overall outcome is walking out of one chapter into a new world, ending that it's no longer needed with the King of Pentacles. So if this, um, if you are dealing with a King of Pentacles or someone who is picking you down, you're going to tell them you're not going to do this to me anymore. Otherwise, what it's really telling you is you're walking out of one completed area of your life and you have learned and you have given back to yourself um, and Spirit is saying, you do these things and you will see the prosperities. You will be this beautiful earth sign that you are bringing in that Virgo prosperities to yourself and having the self-assurance that you need to stand on firm, stable foundations for yourself. These cards hate me today, you guys. <laughs> okay, so, and yes, it's going to be a slow moving process through this spiritual um, healing, but you're going to release each sword slowly slowly i do not want you pulling out those swords all in one because you're not really 100 percent healing from them you are only getting rid of them to try to get through self-doubt and self-assurance but they're going to come back and then you'll get four cups again if you do not release those the way they should be released so while releasing those make sure that you're doing those time consumingly and slowly and really focusing on each sword okay and knowing and having that and knowing what each sword means. You're telling me this one means this bad thing. I release that and tell you that's not true. Next sword, I release that and tell you that's not true. And I know it because I'm using my higher intuition. This is the truth with the justice card coming out. And this is going to actually bring you out of the eight of swords. Boom. There it is. So just releasing those, knowing who you are. Okay. Putting your truth into what's justified and knowing your communication with yourself, your higher self, your spirit guides, everything about yourself and other people. If they're the ones that want to hurt you and try to put you in aid of swords, you let them know your truth. You are not doing this to me anymore. It's ridiculous and it's not needed. Okay. Okay. So that was a reading for you, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.